and four, five ten overall, and had a great chance at UC Santa Barbara. They they had two free throws to win the game. They were down one. They made one, missed the second one, lost a heartbreak in overtime. Yeah, they did indeed. All right, for the Aggies, a special night for Kane Milling. The senior had 27 points, a career high. He was doing it all for UC Davis. Kane Milling was hot from three-point land, 27. He had, a, he had a three to make 30, but he, he missed it at the end of the game. I think they let him in for that. Really, really on fire, and the Aggies have been relying on Eli Pepper and T.Y. Johnson. Now they've got a third scoring threat, and that makes all the difference. Yeah, no doubt. Kane had 20 first-half points. He broke his career high in the first 20 minutes. You look at the numbers there from Thursday night. As for Cal State Bakersfield today, if they want to get a road win against a good UC Davis team, they're going to have to rely upon their point guard, Caleb Higgins. Caleb Higgins averaging 16.4 points a game. He's just 5'10". There are players on the floor today that are 14 inches taller than he is, but that doesn't matter to him. He really runs this Bakersfield offense. postseason tournament. Yeah, they're, they're on the fourth year of a four-year probation at the NCAA when you when you move up. Yeah, but for Cal State Bakersfield, obviously, in the bottom half of things here in the Big West, 0-4 looking for that first win today. You know they'll be hungry, desperately wanting a win today. Yeah, they're going to get over a little hangover maybe of that tough, tough loss to UC Santa Barbara, but uh, we saw the Aggies had a tough loss at Irvine, and, and, and they got over that one very quickly against uh, Northridge with a 20-point win over CSUN. Yeah, no doubt. There was head coach Jim Less in his 13th year doing a tremendous job. The Aggies in conference are beating opponents by an average of 15.2 points per game. Yeah, that's very impressive. You know, we have two coaches. They're both in their 13th year in the Big West. They started the same year. Uh, yeah. Rod Barnes of, uh, I was going to say, of Ole Miss, uh, where he did play and was a superstar and did coach. All right. The opening tap thrown up. We are underway. The officials for this contest, Ryan Holmes, Ron Rogenbrow, and Rick Matzel, as we look at the Aggies starting five for this contest. Well, we've got, we've got to, well, right now, Eli Pepper with the ball. Yeah, Pepper has it up to Johnson, kicks it over to Kane Milling. There's that Aggie starting five, Anika Rich and Abby Adebayo, Kane Milling, T.Y. Johnson, and Elijah Pepper. As the Aggies turn it over, that's something they haven't done much of. So we're going to take a look at the Cal State Bakersfield starting five now as well. Our starting lineups presented by Ontario International Airport, the official airport of the Big West. Go to flyontario.com to plan the next trip. So it's Higgins, Myrtle and Robinson, Tyler Fears, and Cameron Brown. Rock Barnes shakes up his starting lineup, and right there, it pays off dividends as getting an easy bucket. Tom Mark, who had eight points, and then they were lost against UC Santa Barbara. Bounce pass inside, Rochek can't get it, and another turnover by the Aggies. It's a pesky Cal State Bakers for defense. Yeah, absolutely, and you know, this is one of those trap games they talk about, a winless team coming in, and you've just come off your best best game of the year, perhaps. And the lane, the layup is in by Stevenson, and it's a good start for the Roadrunners. Do you see Davis defense against uh, CSUN in their last outing was just absolutely tremendous and that Jim Jim must emphasize his defense. Rocek at the elbow. Looks inside, finds nothing, gets it over to Addy out of five. There's a lot more confident on the offense of that kick out corner three. Why Johnson doesn't go. Rebound Rocek skips it back out to TY. On the attack, Bunny Hobbs hangs as it scores. Put his foul, and that'll send T.Y. Johnson to the free throw. T.Y. had a second look at a three and decided that uh, I better not do that. So T.Y. is the second leading scorer on this deck for the contest 15.6 points per game. So much out in the lane on those drives, but uh, he's starting to hit the three pointer. Yeah, he 
Yes. And he's shucking those free throws and letting Aggie play for him. This is 87th of the year, although he's just 65% from the line. Something uh, UC Davis would certainly like to see him pick up. To your point on the threes, he's hit 16 threes on the year. Five in that one against the Pacific. Where he went for 30 points. And there was a, there was quite a while there in the early season where he just wasn't even looking for the three. Both free throws good by T.Y. The Aggies in their little pestle press. Or there's no problem breaking it. Okereke inside on the wraparound pass, and it's an easy deuce for Tom Mark, his second bucket of the ball game. Three times in a row, the road down runners have been able to go inside. Billing, a three left side, picks up right where he left off on Thursday night, trading it. Dave Billing with the trifecta at 6 5. He could become a consistent scorer for the Aggies. It's going to pay huge dividends. Yep. Pepper and Johnson, the dynamic backcourt duo, but if you get Milling involved as well, watch out. Okereke wants to work on Rochek, tries to pass it across the lane. It's picked off by Pepper. Aggies in transition. Rochek hands off Adebayo, will drive inside. Ball fakes, fades away, has his shot rejected, but Rochek gets it. Shot clock did not reset. Milling on the attack. Now T.Y. with the shot clock at six. Stutter step. Fade back. 18 footer smash. Oh. Impressive shot by T.Y. And the Aggies have their first lead of the game. So much for the Bakersfield quick start. Higgins with the handles. He is the team's leading scorer. Gives it off to Stevenson. We'll bounce it to a character. He has it struck from behind. The CSUN transfer regains control, but his cross court pass forces Stevenson out of bounds. And that'll be a Cal State Bakersfield turnover. Of course, this Aggie team, top 20 in the country, in forced turnovers a game. The Aggie defense forcing turnovers all over the place. Got it. Substitutions into the contest. As T.Y. will walk it into the front court. Rochek over to T.Y. quickly inside Adebayo. On the right block. Ball fake, spins towards the baseline, scoops it up and in. What a move by Addy Adebayo, who's become an Addy offensive Adebayo force. Adebayo has become much more aggressive inside. He's looking for the bucket. You would never see him make these plays a year ago. It's a 7-0 Aggie run. Will Bond. Against the Yaru Shemachush. He'll put it off glass, doesn't get it, but the putback is up and in. That was Nassim Gaskin with the bucket. Makes it 9-8. Johnson in transition. A quick trigger on a three. That's oh, a heat check. He's feeling it. T.Y.'s got seven points now to lead all scores. And guess what? Guess who hasn't scored? No pepper yet. No pepper yet. Pepper comes in with 1,951 points already in school record. Sets another record every time he scores a point. Yeah. 49 away from that 2,000 point plateau. Uncharted waters here at UC Davis. Gasket kicks into the corner. Open look for a three is up and short from Jaden Alexander. And the Aggies have it. Pepper up top. Open for three. Triggers. It's a little long. And Pepper misses on his first try of the night. Pepper with 57 threes on the year, averaging over four and a half in league play. Up top, the jumper long from Yarushevich. That's pretty much the only scoring record he doesn't have is that single game record of uh, 40 points set by Corey Parker. Yeah, the career high for Eli so far, but this is 32. Pepper off the curl. Jump stops, wrap around pass to T.Y. Whips it inside for Roadshack. But we have a three-second call on Nico in the lane. And that will bring us to our first media break of the afternoon. We are underway from UC Davis. The Aggies with a 12-8 lead early on here at Big West Park. On and out of there, O'Karake came over and 
Got it. Flora in for the Axe. Back up top of the ball. Three ball, long. Rebound taken by Higgins. Yep. Kelsey Payton showed a lot of credit for coming out with a lot of energy after a tough loss on Thursday. That's so a He gets for three, it's down, and just like that, the runners have taken the lead. First three to game for the road runners. Back the other way, three balls in, no good from Tomba. He gets with the rebound. Side is the key. He'll launch a three ball. It rolls around and out. Well defended that time by the Axe. Johnson traveled with it. Yep. Easy call to make. No matter how long you play this game, <laughs> you see that happen. Yeah, Rick Batsell with the call. As we'll take a look at the Pepper Drive. Now we go over on Karake. Who was at CSUN last year transferred and he blocked it with the offhand? Looks like he did. Watch the film on Eli. He gets, enters it on the right block. The reverse layup up and in. Pretty move by Corey Stevenson. And right now, really getting inside. It's a 7 0 run for the runners. The parole with the left hand too strong off the glass. Rebound taken or carrying it. Cal State Bakersfield playing with urgency, looking like a team that desperately wants to win the top. And you know, it's a 20-game season. You can start 0-4 and still get back in this thing. Top eight teams will get to Henderson. An 11 team league, but as we said, you see San Diego not eligible. They're still in their transition class. He gets pulled out on 16th floor. Got it. He beat the buzzer and drained it. Pretty shot by Caleb Higgins. So even a number nine team will get in this year. Uh, if San Diego is ahead of that. Yes, correct. 9-0 run by Cal State Bakersfield. Hamba reverses it and he's fouled by Mark. That'll take us to another media break. 11.35 remaining here in the first half. Cal State Bakersfield has regained the lead on a 9-0 run. Yeah, they won three during the 90s, uh, 93, 94, 97, under the great coach Pat Douglas, who also coached at UCLA. And, and actually, uh, following Pat Douglas, who was a former Andy assistant, Keith Brown. Uh, Tom against both free throws, but you're right, the need to wear the Aggies and Cal State Bakersfield had some tremendous matchups. Okay, okay, with it. Hands back to Higgins. Higgins has five points in the game. Probes into the lane. Lost. No care case saves it. It was somehow throw it around the baseline for a three-point shot that's up and in by Marvin McGee. Wow, a scramble there by the runners, but it paid off with the three ball. Marvin McGee. Back the other way. Oh, Karake blocking more. Higgins on the attack. It's a five on four right now. Spinning into the lane, but losing it is Stevenson. Tomba comes up with it. Bakersfield on a real run here. They're really playing some great basketball to start this game. And now they're going to make a wholesale substitution. Five new guys will come in. That's how Rod Barnes likes to sub. See, Oni Losi in for the Aggies. Kicks out the middle. His three ball, no good. Rebound of Karake, who's owning the glass right now. The Aggies are just two of six from distance. We got, we got eight guys waiting to come in this game. Five from Bakersfield and three from the Aggies. Yeah, it's like a hockey game right now. <laughs> it does. Waiting inside the glass as Okereke lobs inside and a foul on the ground will go against the Aggies. Best play is to wait for the whistle to come up and they're not going to let in yet. Taking a look at the foul, a little high-low action from the runners as they just lobbed right over Bora that time. Bora's yeah, got to make himself bigger and, and put his hands up. You know, there's five, five newcomers coming in. It's shades of Bob Hamilton on Bob Hamilton court. He used to like to do that. He'd start five guys in full court press, bring in five, five more, and uh, blow people away. 
And of course, this beautiful brand new court inside University Credit Union Center, named after the, the late Aggie great head coach, Bob Hamilton. Jump shot right side, it's up and in. That's Ugnas Yarushevichos from the bucket. Are just red hot. They are shooting 64% from the field. Foul along the baseline. That'll go against the runners. It's their third team foul. And you know, you know Jim Les cautioned his team for sure. They're 0-4, but they almost beat Santa Barbara, and uh, anybody is, is dangerous in this league. The Big West is playing at a high level top yeah, the bottom this year. They really are. 15th rated conf uh, conference in the country right now. There's 31 in college basketball. It's the highest the, the Big West has been in several years. The Burl throws it near corner for Losi. Five on the shot clock. Sioni with it. Throws back to Rocek. Has to hoist a three ball. Beat the buzzer. Whistle blown. Foul on the ground. It's going to go against the seat Gaskin. Give the Roadrunners a lot of credit. The defensive intensity is pretty good. It's a 14 to 1 run by the runners over the last 46, 436 of the game. They've made their last four field goals. The Aggies have missed their last eight. Wow. It's just, it's, uh, Sean, the Aggies are up 12 8, playing well. And a bounce pass deflected into the back court. It'll go out of bounds. Fielded by Jim West. The Aggies will have to hustle it back in. Shot clock did not reset. It's at 12. The Aggies about as cold as the weather outside today. <laughs> is. Pepper a three ball. It's short. The Aggies now 4-15 from the floor. Mid-40s here in uh, Davis, California. Not quite as bad as it is in Buffalo, <laughs> where they had to move the game to Monday. Monday. Yeah, and how about uh, the... The Chiefs game tonight. The Chiefs and the Dolphins. Predicting negative temperatures for tonight. Ball inbounded from Milling. His three balls up. And he stays red hot. Kane yeah. Milling, his second three for the ball game. Kane Milling coming off the 27 point career high on Thursday. Has six already here. Yeah, the 27. It only raised him up to 10.4. It shows you in, in the last four or five games, so he's, he's really been picking it up. Gaskin gets it over to Yaru. Shemichas, hands off Wilson. Shot clock at five. They get it inside for their big man. Ken Slaris, double team. Kick it back out. Ken Slaris, did he beat the buzzer? He did not. And that'll be a shot clock violation. That's the kind of defense Jim West likes. As he says, defense wins games. The offense is determined by how much. Fourth turnover against the runners as Again, wholesale substitutions coming in. I'm there to look at that tenacious Aggie defense. Double teaming and Kanslerish, so you can see the red box went off first. There's the big zero. They ruled Kate shot a, th uh, a two, I believe. And they have 22-16 on the board. I'm not sure why. This road check gets clipped on its way to the basket. I wonder if they'll review that at the break. Probably, you, know, you, don't, you don't have to review it to get somebody in basketball. It certainly looked like it was a three. As we see the foul there, leaving his ground, uh, his, leaving the floor was Mark. That time he, he got caught up in road check. It's the 16th foul against the Roadrunners. Next one will put them over the list. And the Aggies with just one foul. This could be, this could be a significant change here uh, in the last part of the first half. They can stop turning it over, that is, as the Roadrunners force it in transition. Three balls up and rattles out from the key. Aggies control. The ball getting into the lane. Dumps off the road check. Right block. And throw back out. Good defense by the Roadrunners right there. Pepper pull up 17 footer. It's long. Rebound road check. Put back no, but he's fouled. They're going to call it on the ground, but it will be free throws. It'll be the one-on-one -one situation for Rocek when we come back. 7.49 left to go here in the first half. It's Cal State, Bakersfield 22, UC Davis 16 here in Davis.
the Aggies over the top. Yeah, we asked Jim Les was the last time three Aggies had been at 20 points or more, and he says, I have no idea. Probably not during my tenure, which is 13 years. Yeah, I can't remember the last time we were in that scenario. I bet it's happened. Has happened, I'm sure. Less era, but we have to look back. It doesn't seem like it's been recently, though. No. And, uh, you know, 95 points was a season high. I've got to think, though, Christian and Igwe, along with Pepper and Johnson, may have done it. Yeah, I, I would agree with that assessment. Yeah. Nico Rocek at the line. Nobody works harder than Nico Rocek. He is really one of those. I mean, he actually leads the team in rebounds at 4.7 a game. Not, not a real high number, but still. Uh, got very aggressive in the team. Yeah. Just makes plays that inspire others. Aggie should one of their last 11 from the floor. But Rocek gets both free throws there. The Aggies are now 5 of 6 from the strike. They're back to within 4. And that's how you take advantage of the being in the bonus is to make those. So again, they did not apparently look at the King Millie 3. It's still a 4 point game. Unless my scoring was wrong from somewhere else. No, it, it seems accurate to me. Stevenson with it for the runners. Gives off Higgins up top. T.Y. Johnson with the assignment against with the very talented Higgins. Now Adamayo comes over, blocks the shot. Okereke comes up with it. Shot clock under five. The putback doesn't go. Rebound to the runners, but out of bounds with Stevenson, and the Aggies will have it. Do you sense that Aggie defense has picked up? Well, a slow start for UC Davis, but I think in large part it was because of how well the road runners came out. No doubt. No doubt. Billing with it. Kicks out out of bottom. As he's running that three guard lead. DY on the attack. Plants goes up. No foul call. Rochek put back in. You're right. He's inspiring other players to be great. 6 0 run from the Aggies. Go back to the hit two. Handling it from Slaris. He's double teamed in a bad spot. Just lobs it up to top. Stevenson elects to take it. On a run, loses it. Here come the Aggies. Three on two. Johnson gives off to Adebayo. Filling the line, gets the bucket, and he's fouled. Addy with a great finish. <laughs> And one. All started with defense ball. Yes, indeed. Watch it. Addy with the strength to fight through the foul. Didn't even have that good of a look at it and put it in anyway. It's amazing to see a year to year change in Addy out of I mean, especially from the junior to senior year because, let's face it, offensively, he didn't do much his first three years here. Teams would play off of him. A lot of times the defense would be five on four, yeah. forcing Addy to try and shoot. But this year, you can't do that with Addy out of He has some six footers a couple of years ago. No good. So the score remains tough after the Aggies have rattled off. I guess it's a 9-0 run by the end, just to make it 22 all. Gaskin tries to throw inside for Yari Shevichus. Pass deflected, and Adebayo comes up with it. His defense has just been superb in the last year for him during the 9-0 run. That sixth turnover for the runners, and speaking of turnovers, he gets forces one. Races out, pulls up, 17-footer over, Pepper doesn't go, ball out of bounds, last off, UC Davis. Jim, Jim West always says that if you play great defense, good things will happen on the other end. The ball starts by you. It's a four-minute drought for the road runners. Remember when Northridge started one for 15 on Thursday night. He gets to the baseline, back to Yaru Shevichos. His shot partially blocked, and a foul on the ground will go against Adebayo. And he thought there was a little bit over the back prior to that. That'll bring Boring in. Just the first foul on Adebayo. Talba is going to check in for Addy as well. 
only the second foul on the Aggies. Yep, and the runners are over the limit already, and as you pointed out, the Aggies have a great opportunity to get the lead in the line. Exactly. It's going to be a foul on the ground. It's going to go against Bora, Chase, and Yaru. Show the chance. Double bonus. Baker's nose is nowhere near it. There's a look at the foul on Bora. Baskin with it. Double team. Throws over the Higgins. He gets into the lane, works against four defenders. His shot smushed by the Aggies, beating the buzzers. Gaskin, he did draw iron. Shot did not go. Again, some more tenacious defense by the Aggies. Now the back door. Cut the reverse layup by Pepper. What a move by Pepper. What a contortionist. He was, he was able to put up the reverse layup over the shoulder. We have not heard much from Pepper offensively tonight. Made a statement there. David Blaine would be happy with that shot. David Copperfield as well. Looks <laughs> like his body was getting sawed in half as he put it off the glass. Now you Chemishus puts it up and in. The big man with the bucket. That is an 11 point run. Sure does. The 6 foot 10 junior out of Lithuania ties the game up. Tomba lobs the side door is open, puts it up, didn't get it. So it's foul. Moore's got to be a little stronger. Yeah, yeah it is just going up and really lost control of the ball. He brought the ball down just enough. If you're a big man, you never want to bring the ball down once you catch it. So Moore, one of seven international players on this Aggie roster. Moore is from Italy. Uh, Addy is from London, Kane Millie from France, Sam Manu, Taiwan, Nico Rocek, Geneva, Switzerland. Tom is from Malaga, Spain, and of course Pepper was born in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> born in Australia, but grew up in the state of Washington. There's a lot of Aggies playing internationally as well. Chima Madeki, who made the Kings roster last year, is now in Spain with the Real League, TJ Shorts, playing in Paris, Mar. Israel, this is the same as well. AJ John, Belgium, beside the Schneider's journey. And Christian Nigo, as we mentioned, the Aggie Center from a year ago, is over. Pretty impressive lineup. The score remains tied. Moore could not take advantage of the line. Eli Pepper plays the most troubling Olympic I wonder if he does have this. The Australian teams can be very, very good. But they have, they have a chance to win it all. So that's Three ball, no good. Yager, Chumichis, jump ball. And the up and an arrow will favor Cal State Bakersfield. Sure. <laughs> and they like to play 10 11 deep, which we saw in the substitutions. Gets it in. And the big man, Yaru Chemichis. Out to McGee. Four minutes to go in the first half. McGee with it. Throws it inside. Matchup. On the seventh quarter, fadeaway jumper off of foot. Yaru Chemichis left it short. Rebound to T.Y. T.Y. Moves around the lane. We'll throw it back out to the pool. Two point guard alignment for the Aggies. Right now. Great defense by Laura. Bunny hop in the lane. Johnson, the floater, doesn't go. Rebound taken by Yaru Shevichis. Good tie for a walk. Roadrunners have missed 10 of their last 11 shots, make it 10 of their last 12 as Higgins gets a nice baseline J, puts the runners back on top. First man on the court. And the new scores. Yeah, Higgins, 5'10", 155 pounds, a senior out of High Bluff, Arkansas, a transfer from Holmes Community College. So that foul will bring us to the media break. A good one here at UC Davis. 
Cal State Bakersfield looking for the upset on the road. They lead this thing 26 to 24. It's easy to play it safe, but that's not our story. Only the bold is our mission. A call for risk takers and change makers to shine in the classroom, in the community, and in competition. Bold is our past, our future, our passion. Bold is the next level. The Big West, only the bold. This is a story about strength. It wakes up early in the morning, stays up late, moves mountains, and travels the world. It makes adventure and hard work possible. Strength delivers food to tables, packages to doorsteps, products to stores, and kids to practice. It shows up everywhere you show up. Hercules tires are built for almost every driver and every vehicle. Find the right Hercules for your story and let our strength drive yours. Hey, grab me one too. Starting to get in rhythm for his hurt for a portion of the non conference. He missed four games. Ryu Shevichis has it taken away from the line. Here come the Aggies. Pepper front court lobs head out of file, and that should be goaltending, and it is. There you go. Yaru Shevichis blocked it, but it was off the glass first. I think some people thought Pepper was going to pull up for one of his patented threes, and instead he passes. Watch this. Here's a look again. Pepper with the great dish out of bio, and it yeah. definitely hit glass first. So the Aggies have made five of their last six field goals, and again, for the runner, she's two of the last 12. That's really bad. It's a 16 to 4 run. Top of it, Alexander, who only played one minute at UC Santa Barbara. He got pushed in the eye and came out of the game in the second half. Three ball missed by Higgins. The girl pushing the issue for Pepper. Pepper has been kept in check, just two points. He's fouled there. He goes down hard to the floor. Rod Barnes barking at the official. Oh, Rod Barnes is hot right now. Let's focus in on that bench. Rod Barnes. Is letting Ronald Brokenbow know his feelings. I'm sure what he's upset about. Yeah. Will the bench or will the players be brought back to the respective benches? I'm not sure. There's actually Ryan Holmes and Rod Barnes was having that conversation with. Rod Barnes isn't a person I want to upset with me. No, no. He's a oh, tough well, customer. Oh, I think he wanted to charge. Pepper steps to the line, and amongst all the other things that Pepper does at an elite level, he's a 91% free throw shooter. He got exactly. went 6 for 6 last week and went from 90.0 to 90.9, which is number one. Right on Q varies this way. He's going to get 66 for 6 for the first time. The Aggies were down by five points, 17 to 12. Second free throw they gave him a chance. There we did. We did. So I have it as an 18 points first for the Aggies. 135 left beyond the line. That slams lobs it inside. Yaru Shovichus has his shot taken away. T.Y. In the corner for the Brawl and Aaron pass, and that'll be an Aggie turnover. The Aggie defense has really picked it up. Okay. Seventh turnover from the runners. At one point, they were down nine points here. The 
doing it. So we'll walk it into the front door. Approaching the final stages here in the first half. Whistle away from the ball. What's the call? Algin Luss is making his feelings now to Ryan Holmes. Ryan Holmes is taking a large <laughs> bit of the uh, bickering here in the first half of the three officials. Now, Eddie is out of Iowa, Dr. Joe. Did not see the call. Maybe we can get another look at that one as Addy's going to go to the bench with his second personal foul. The fifth Aggie team foul. Still not over the limit. Bounce pass inside. It's stolen. The Brule has it. Gives back to the trailer Pepper. A good idea. Three ball down. Great pass by the Brule. And Pepper in transition. That's where he's most deadly. Hard to spot up with them when the Aggies are right. It's interesting. And it's so hard to pull up in transition. He does it perfectly. Pepper's first three of the game. Fifth for the Aggies. Okereke gets it to Alexander. Throughout Higgins. Right wing three. Doesn't go. Ball tapped out. The Brule comes up with it. Throws ahead to Johnson with the pass stolen. McGee. Over to Higgins. Pass inside, and Alexander gets swatted by Rochek. Goes up again tonight. Three ball quarter, no good. The Brule wraps it up. You know, the is just a monster on the boards tonight. Today. The Brule with his fifth rebound as the Aggies will take their first half, use it or lose it, 30 second timeout. It's a 20 to 4 Aggie run over the last 835 of this game. We're down 22 to 13. What a turn of events here. 9 0 run over the last 220. They've made their last three field goals. You, you can just sense much more intensity on defense from UC Davis. No question about it. And Eli Pepper has not been the big contributor that he usually is. Now Pepper has six. Milling has six. Johnson has seven. So, Eli only had eight points in the first half against the uh, Seaside. Ended up with 20. He'll get his 20 one way or another. Yep. Hard to stop T.Y. from racking up the number. Second leading score for the Ags with 15.6 a night. And he'll have three in double figures with, with Dean Milling. A bunch of just over 10. Shot clock and game clock almost mirroring each other. So the Ags will go for the final shot of the first half. T.Y. will stand on the Heritage logo. It's the Comet Letter C with the capital A inside the state of California on this beautiful it is University of Credit Union. It's a beautiful court. Pepper, no look pass inside for Richard. He's met at the summit, but the call of foul on O'Karake. That will send Nico to the line. Great pass by Pepper. So one thing that we, 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 when he does all that scoring, I don't think people realize what a great passer he like Pepper is. He's just a great all-around player. Averages over four rebounds a game. He's over two assists per contest. And, and steals. He's second on the team in steals for that team. And he's the all-time leader in UC Davis history in steals as well. Because the Aggies struggle from the line, though. They're 6 of 12. You know, they haven't taken great advantage of no. that uh, in the bonus early. They're only 70% on the year. They are better in league play, 74% on the strike. Averaging almost 80 points a game in third place play. Yeah, that margin of victory is so huge. 15.2 yeah. contest is now uh, Rod Barnes is going to take his use it or lose it. Yeah. He tried to diagram the last play here to finish the half. Well, they had seven seconds and uh, they could really use a bucket before the half. They could. They're shooting just 37% from the floor. They were over 60% at one point. Yeah, and you know, they were getting a lot of inside looks, easy buckets inside, and they. Now that you see the Aggies collapsing inside, and they just can't get a bucket, a, a shot up. They're in their third season in the Big West as Cal State Bakersfield. They came to um, the conference at the same time UC San Diego did, but they were members right away. They were already in the Division I program. Right, as a WAC school. Didn't have to transition. Right. So in their seven road losses, they've been outscored by 84 points, a minus 12 differential. When the Division Two days used to play Davis almost every year, even though they were not in the same league. 
Doesn't it look like Rod Barnes can still play? Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Ever since six points you gave me your senior year. To be the SEC player of the year, oh, have to be oh, special. Yeah. Burchex gets one of two, and the Aggies lead 34 26. Speaking of the SEC, a former Aggie has been going to be the leading scorer for Vanderbilt, also with more minutes than any other Vanderbilt player. Aggies had a foul to Kim, but Kim had five seconds to go, and it's so good to see Az have success there. Yeah, he's done, done very, very well there. Tough loss for the Aggies, but we have to, we have to cheer on all he's doing. Second year there after leading the Aggies. It's a fabulous season. Well, it was a heartbreak to see him lose. Lead. Egan is trying to beat the buzzer. The shot doesn't go. And the sound goes off on the 